Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the HG Gundam The Origin Zaku 1 Denim or Slender Use. Dismissing the fact of how weird those names are, Denim and Slender, this looks like a really cool kit. Really, this was totally expected. I mean, it was only a matter of time until we were getting a Origins version of the Zaku 1. And I think this is definitely a really great kit in the fact that we do have a couple different options for it. I think when releasing a kit as simple as the Zaku 1 is, I think it's great that Bandai includes some different options. So anything like a Zaku or a Jim or something really that basic, it's really great when you kind of have that. So it just kind of makes give it, buying the kit a little bit worth it because when you buy like a, such a really simple kit it's nice to have some extra little bits in there to just kind of really make it feel worth it for you because if you're living outside of Japan I mean even buying such a simple kit like this is still going to cost you a little bit more you're definitely paying a lot for the shipping and all of that so things especially for people overseas uh, I think having a lot of extras is uh, a great point so I don't think I can say that any more times <laughs> I said it like three or four times sorry about that anyway Great point, I think. So another thing is that we've got great box art here. We can see both of the different versions. Now, of course, we all are only going to be able or only going to be able to make one or the other. Uh, but here we can see both different versions. Here we are having the option of having the big bazooka and a normal Zaku shoulder shield or the long rifle and just uh, no uh, nothing on that shoulder. We're going to have a nice little sticker there to make that black and yellow kind of uh, striping on there. Should be pretty cool. Uh, this is a new release, just came out last month, so definitely looking forward to this, and I'll, of course, in the review, compare this to some other Origins kits so you can see how it's going to look standing with some of its brethren. So once again, big thank you to Mind Phoenix Hobby Store for sending me this kit to share with you guys. Uh, I love Zaku's, obviously, so very much looking forward to this. So number 009 in the series here. Double O, Cyborg 009. I think that's a cool series, don't you? Here on the bottom we get a front and back view here of which one would this be? I'm not sure off the top of my head. Uh, I'll have, we'll have to check when we check out the inside whether this is the denim or slender use. But there, there's one there. Some information there about, see the reason that uh, this is not specific here. This is not specific. Here's denim, slender, so I don't know. And maybe in the manual we'll see which one is which. And then some information there about the origin uh, series, OBA series. Here are some action poses. Uh, here it's going to show you. This is the denim. Okay, so without the shoulder armor there is denim. With the shoulder armor there is slender. Kind of seems like the more slimmed down option would be more fitting to the name slender. But uh, anyway, there's our options there. Here's a bit about the gimmicks. Of course the eye is going to move. The head is going to come up nice and far. That'll be nice. The shoulder armor will come out. Uh, the waist will have a nice bend, double jointed uh, knees and ankles, I'm sorry, knees and elbows. A few different hand options, same as all the other ones. Marking stickers, same as all the other ones. Weapons are nothing new there. Weapons we've seen a few times by now. 1,700 yen for this price for this does seem a little bit high, but like I said, we do have some options in there. So I think maybe it would have been nice if this was 1,500 yen. I think that probably would have been a little better, but uh, I'm not in charge of pricing a Bandai, so here we've got the stickers there, green parts, uh, some grayish blue parts, uh, the Zaku inner frame, the origin Zaku frame parts, uh, feet, that's all, uh, nothing new there. Uh, these do look like new parts though, however, a few parts there. Uh, nothing new there, parts for the Zaku machine gun. I'm guessing about uh, less than half of the kit will really be anything new. There's some foil stickers there, uh, more frame parts, and then the big weapons runner. Again, that is the same weapons runner we've had since the Shars Zaku. So, uh, here in the manual, we've just got the same box art once again, now in vertical format. On the back, same kind of stuff we saw on the outside of the box. All these kind of details, I'll have to try to remember that so I don't have to keep referring back to this denim and slender. Uh, here's where all the markings are going to go and all of the paint information there, color guide. Opening up to the middle, here we do have some more information, if you can read Japanese. More information there about the Zaku 1 origin version and about a bit about the pilots there. Uh, then getting over to our parts list, 
can see we're gonna be using pretty much everything, a few parts there on the B runner. I think those are Zaku 2 specific parts that are not gonna be using there. But uh, pretty much else, we are gonna be using pretty much everything else. I see a couple parts here on the F runner and then uh, like the half of the polycap runner we're not gonna use as well. That's okay. Always fun to have extra polycaps. Construction is interestingly going to start out with the arms. That's kind of unique, unless I missed something. Okay, no, maybe I just skipped this. It's the color page is usually last, but in this case it's first. Uh, the color page is going to be starting off with the body first, and then the head, and then the waist. So it's kind of nice to start with color first, so you, the color is always nice to see, kind of start off the building process. Then moving on to the left arm, left arm and right arm. Now I'm guessing here is where you're going to have the two different options. So the main part of the arm is going to be the same, but then here is where you, uh, you have to split whether you want to do this way or this way. You have the option of that symbol there in the middle, just as a reminder to anyone who maybe doesn't know. That is a symbol that means you have an option uh, one way or the other. Uh, and then moving on to the feet, and going back here. For such a simple kit, it's kind of a little bit of a long manual here. Uh, left leg, right leg, putting the body together. Whee! like so, and then moving on to the weapons, we have the bazooka there, uh, all of that, we have a, we're able to connect that onto the backpack. The machine gun, there, the heat hawk, which can attach onto the side skirts, and then the rifle, really love that rifle. So, that's nice. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the runners. So, starting off with our foil stickers here, there's just that uh, marking, uh, black and yellow striping that's going to be going on the denim shoulder part. We have a yellow, uh, sorry, <laughs> a yellow pink sticker there for the mono eye, and then these two shiny pink stickers are for the camera lenses on the bazooka and rifle. And here's our decal marking sticker sheet. Again, I won't be using this, so if you'd like this, leave a comment down below, first one to do so, and I'll send these off to you. We do have some markings here, 101 or 102, I guess denoting either the slend slend slender or denim custom version. So not a whole lot of markings there, but some nice ones there if you are into using stickers. PC001 for our polycaps. Again, if you remember, I think we're not going to be using like all of these two rows and then these two in there. Uh, polycaps we're not going to be using in this case. Here's runner A1. This is a totally new runner here. This is marked new. I'll show you that in a moment. And the color is also kind of unique too. It's a very bluish gray color here. It's not quite the same like blue gray that we saw, for example, in the HG Arm Blooded Orphans Gushan frame. That was like a really bluish gray color. This was is, this is a little bit more dull blue color. Um, pretty much just all kind of similar to what we've seen in past Origins kits. A lot of really nice detail there. Um, just to give you a look at the marking there, it's going to be HG1044, Zaku 1 Origin. Now, although that was called A1, there is no A2, so we're going to skip to B1. And this is a very, very dark gray, almost black, uh, for the chest, the feet, and elbows, and kneecaps, and the one for inside the head as well. Again, if you remember from the instructions, there are going to be a few parts we're not going to be using for this kit. I think it's the elbow and kneecaps that are going to be omitted. This one is marked. Uh, just Zaku, so again this is the same runner we've had with previous kits uh, now being reused for this one. The C runner is another totally new runner here. We have it in a kind of olive green color, but it's definitely a little bit brighter than a normal olive green. So here we can see we have what looks like those same kneecap parts that uh, from what, what I can tell here they look exactly the same as the black kind of dark gray ones so you will have that option it's kind of interesting that Bandai included those as for like color accuracy but of course if you're gonna be painting really doesn't matter uh, so yeah gonna be some all pretty familiar parts but some of them will be uh, just new of course for this kit uh, the marking again just Zaku 1 because it's new but actually as I was looking at this runner at first I was looking at this here and I was like oh C why do they mark it like that C runner with the C like that, that's like old school style, and I was like, oh wait, it's down there. Definitely nothing new here for the D1 runner. This is that same Zaku frame set that we've had for all these Zaku kits and the Goof kits as well. Uh, and we do have runner D2, which is going to be a copy of this section here. These are in that same kind of like brownish gray, slightly metallicish uh, kind of color here. Same color here for the E runner, uh, but again, these are new parts. Interesting how the runners are going like uh, new, old, new, old, new, old. E runner, again, more new parts in this case. But then back to old, again, for the F runner in the standard gray color here, all the parts for the weapons and hands. 
And finally, ending again on something else not new in this case, just the parts for the Zaku rifle here located on the H2 runner. So that's it for unboxing the HG Gundam The Origin Zaku 1. Definitely a cool kit. We also have the Thunderbolt Zaku 1, which I should be taking a look at pretty soon. So going to be a lot of Zakus and Zaku 1s and different versions of the Zaku we're going to be taking a look at here over the next month or so probably. So expect plenty of Zaku action to come. If you do have any other questions or comments about this kit, please feel free to leave those down below. As always, look forward to hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the review coming up next. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.